What's up everybody? It's Titanic C. Jack and I'm back at you with another video today. Today we're taking a look at a sneaker that's set to release next month. But before we get into that, I need a couple things from you. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also, leave a comment in the comment section on today's video. Let me know your thoughts on the sneaker we're about to look at and the video itself. And do it that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with a video right here on this channel. And also, leave a comment down below right there in the comment section. And since you're already down there, I need you to go in that description box and uh, check out those links. You can do some shopping and save some money. We're going to talk about one of those products a little later in the video. And you can go a little shopping for some tees to go with your sneakers. It's all down below in the description box. Now, today's sneaker, uh, it looks like when Nike finds a, uh, a good thing or something that actually hit with the sneaker community, they have a tendency to run it into the ground. So, we've already seen one sneaker by that name. And the Jordan 1 silhouette, so they had to pick it back off and it come with a Jordan 3 silhouette. You see the box, I'm talking about none other than the Air Jordan Retro 3 Palomino. You can see that 75% pale ivory or uh, sail color box. Then you have the 25% the cement gray with the Palomino looking elephant print on top of it as I show you that box label there you go and there's a Jordan Jumpman on top is embossed in the top of the box and the box reads Air Jordan 3 Retro and the color is light or wood brown metallic gold this is a US size 12 so there will not be no on feet of this sneaker because y'all know size 3 I'm sorry, in Jordan 3's, y'all know I'm rocking with them size 15 things, so. Let's open the box, fold over box. You can look right here, you got a lot number right here, and you have a, a little stamp looking circle right here. Normally, there's a little gold sticker in here, but they branded it on right there and read, they stamped it on, I should say. And you got some elephant print paper. It's smooth on the elephant side, a little rough on the white side. Uh, and in the box, you can see that YCM uh, green and white sticker. And this is pretty much all the goodies that come in the box. Uh, this sneaker does not have any uh, extra laces. So, uh... This is pretty much what you get, the box and the sneakers, so let's get into it. Here you go, guys. We have the Air Jordan Retro 3 Palomino. Tell me your thoughts on this sneaker at first sight. Uh, to me, it's a pretty clean sneaker, but something stands out. If, I'm not sure you guys remember when the mock-ups came out from Z Sneakerhead Z. Uh, the upper, it looked very much like it was going to be an all-leather upper. But we do have this suede, kind of reminds me of uh, the, I heard somebody say on a video, the Topaz 4s, but this kind of reminds me of, uh, yeah, I guess I can see why they say that. Maybe the uh, Ama Manier Jordan ones, but uh, with that being said, y'all see the colorway, you see that material, you know what you gotta do to keep these in pristine condition. You got to treat these with some of that rejuvenator uh, water and stain repellent. And you will uh, spray it on the sneaker. And you have to let it dry about 15 to 20 minutes before you wear the sneaker. So I'm aiming, uh, spraying lightly on the sneaker. Make sure these bad boys don't get ruined. This is a very nice sneaker. You want to uh, spray this in a well ventilated room and allow 15 minutes for it to dry. So any stains will be prevented if you use this rejuvenator of uh, water and stain repellent. The link is down in the description box and you can save yourself a little money as well. There's a discount code down below 
in the description box. A few moments later. Okay guys, I let the rejuvenator water and stand repellent dry on the sneaker. So now we good to go to go ahead and do the review. The sneaker is made on an uh, all sail, all suede upper. As you can see, you have that on, on your side panels, your toe box, and your uh, down on your mud guard, right underneath that uh, light oil wood brown cement that you have at the heel and toe. That light oil wood brown cement elephant print, I should say. You have your midsole sail color right here going around your air housing clear bubble. You do have a white inside of your air unit system. You do have a hint of that brown on top there as well. And you got a hit of tech gray at the very bottom, which leads to the outsole of the sneaker. You have your regular Jordan 3 outsole. You do have light tech gray and that light oil wood brown hit right here. And the Jordan lettering is in that colorway as well. You have that sail or pale iron colorway right there. Let's look at the back of the sneaker. We do not have Nike Air on here, which we don't need Nike Air on the back of everything. Not sure why Jordan Brand would have even placed Nike Air on the back of these anyway. So we have a Jumpman logo with Air underneath there, and that is in the gold colorway. And you can see that light oil with brown elephant print around the heel. And you can see it's solid right there as we make it to the medial side of the sneaker. Typical Jordan 3. It's a nice clean cut sneaker. You can probably dress this up, go to a casual event, even style these and you know rock these to church if you like. Just depends on your taste and how you drip looking. So yeah, we got that hit right there, or that light or wood brown elephant print. You got your uh solid color uh, eyelets right there on both sides you got your molded eyelet up to the very top and that seems to be like a gray colorway midsole pretty much the same then you got your gold eyelets at the very bottom on both sides those holes those are in the gold colorway and look at the toe box so you guys can see what that suede material looks like on these. Let me hold it still, give you guys a still shot from different angles. So let me know your thoughts on the material. Will this material scare you away from purchasing these when they do drop in the month of August? You do have this tissue stuffed inside. You do have a nice soft nubuck tongue in a tan colorway. You have an embroidered gold jaw jump man on the top of the tongue. Look on the back. Your sizing tag says US size 12, production date November 30th to uh February 16th of this year so you had about two and a half months of production with these you got a, a light brown or wood sock line so let me know your thoughts on this sneaker guys I'm gonna go ahead and end the video if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know well, it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker I'm Titanic Feet Jack signing out